Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I hope everyone had a chance to have a, a, a very good and delicious lunch and that you got a piece of cake. I think the cake is uh, going to make its way out here to where the coffee is. So if you didn't get a piece, uh, you could get one um, you know, for your afternoon snack. <laughs> Um, we're very, very pleased today um, uh, to recognize the um, Open SUNY Online Teaching Ambassadors class of 2019. Um, the online teaching ambassadors for us represent exemplary online faculty at our campuses uh, who are uh, exemplary in some way in online teaching and learning and who um, are willing uh, to share their enthusiasm for online teaching and learning with those in their own campus community as well as beyond. And we, um, there's a, there's a, a lot of uh, opportunities, I think, for faculty to share what they know. But this particular recognition is special in a number of ways. Number one, they are um, uh, nominated for this um, um, recognition by their uh, instructional designers or directors of online learning on their campus. And, um, and we give them a variety of opportunities over the next year uh, to share that enthusiasm in a variety of ways. Um, we all know, and I think the ambassadors themselves would, um, would uh, say that um, hearing from their peers about what it means to teach online is, a very, is powerful in terms of um, helping faculty to understand what it means to teach online and helping to dispel myths and misperceptions uh, that many of us uh, have. Um, in spite of doing this for more than 20 years now, I still today in a room like this of average people still get the same questions today about uh, the effectiveness of online teaching and learning and the, um, the different um, you know, aspects of it um, the, as we did 25 years ago. And so anything that we can do to share what we know uh, about um, the affordances and the benefits of teaching online with our colleagues and, um, and um, across our institutions is incredibly helpful. And I am so very uh, grateful and pleased to be able to um, recognize the extraordinary group of individuals that we have uh, today in the class of 2019. And so this is a, a testament to the campuses uh, for their leadership in, in nominating um, their, uh, their exemplary online faculty to um, the instructional designers and the staff that work with them and uh, to the faculty themselves. And um, the way the program works, you can learn more about the program online uh, at our website and also talk to me or to Erin uh, Maney. Uh, where are you, Erin? There she is. Um, if you're interested in understanding how the how the program works. Um, so we this is, I think, the third year that we have uh, done this program. So we've had three cohorts of exemplary online faculty um, uh, participate in this program. Over the year, we will ask the ambassadors, we will give them options for, um, uh, for ways that they can share what they know and their enthusiasm uh, um, with all of us and on their campus in a variety of ways. Um, this participation in this event is one of those ways. And I was so pleased, and I heard it um, reiterated in Twitter and in the conversation at lunch, that many of you chose to come up and share some things during the UNSession, and I so appreciate that. Um, so um, the way that we're going to do this is um, there are a number of people who couldn't be here. There's 16 ambassadors who were able to uh, make it here in person. Um, and there are a number of people who were not able uh, to be here in person. And I want to recognize them and their nominator and their campus. So I'm going um, to read the list of folks who are not here. And this is the list that we think that of the people who are not here and, here. and if you happen to be here in the room, just let me know so that I know that you're not on the list for not attending. But this is the best that we uh, were able to do um, in terms of our understanding of who's here and who's not. Um, so um, uh, first up is Susan Phillips from SUNY Albany. And she was nominated by Peter Shea. So, um, so congratulations, Susan. Um, DeWitt Demissi, from, also from SUNY Albany. And she was nominated by Darlene Sclera. Uh, Lisa Boyle from Alfred State, nominated by Danielle O'Brien. Denise Kraus from the University at Buffalo, nominated by Robin Sullivan. I know Robin's here. Um, uh, Jayashree Hurlbut 
from Corning Community College, nominated by Martha Gold. Joan McFadden from Duchess uh, Community College, nominated by Chrissy Mitchell. Uh, Jason Lutz from uh, Farmingdale State, nominated by Maya Bentz. Michael Van Etten from Finger Lakes Community College, nominated by Ryan McCabe. Uh, Jennifer Schlaming from Fashion Institute of Technology, in, and uh, she was nominated by Tamara Couples. Uh, Angela McGowan Kirsch from SUNY Fredonia, nominated by Lisa Malhusky. Krista Bellis from SUNY Fredonia, nominated by also by Lisa Malhusky. Jennifer, uh, sorry, Heather Jones from Genesee Community College, nominated by Craig Lamb. Uh, Jason Brown from Herkimer College, nominated by Tabitha Carter. George Smith, also from Herkimer College, also nominated by Tabitha Carter. Sherry Kurtz, Monroe Community College, nominated by Tom Capuano. I think he's here, Tom. I thought I saw him. Um, John Spano from Nassau Community College, nominated by Deb Spiro. Michael Anzalone from Nassau Community College, also nominated by Debbie Spiro. Murat Yassar from SUNY Oswego, not, uh, nominated by Teresa Gillard Cook. I know Lisa's here. <laughs> I mean, uh, Teresa's here. Um, Sammy Garas from SUNY Plattsburgh, nominated by John Locke. And let's see who else we have on the list. Uh, Ryan Andrews from Purchase College, nominated by Trudy Milburn. Lindsay Kane, Purchase College, nominated by Trudy Milburn also. Cynthia Hayden from Rockland Community College, nominated by Lilia Juele. Uh, Natalia Labarski, from, also from Rockland, also uh, nominated by Lilia. Matt Brunelli, Brun Brunley from Stony Brook, nominated by Linda Unger. Leah Holbrook, Stony Brook, nominated uh, by Linda Unger and Josephine Connolly Shunin, Shunin. And Baku Hagedorn from Stony Brook, nominated by Linda Unger. Betsy Conaty from SUNY Sullivan, nominated by Shirley Sinecore. Megan DeShiavo, SUNY Polytechnic, nominated by Richard Shelton. And Karen Fabrizio, also SUNY Polytechnic, was nominated by Kimberly Blanchett. Scott Mandia, Suffolk County Community College, uh, nominated by Robin Hill. And Christine Crow, Suffolk County Community College, also nominated by Robin Hill. So let's, did I say anyone who was actually here? Okay, so let's have a round of applause for the, for the ambassadors. I'm sorry that you couldn't be here with us, but we very much appreciate all of your efforts and hopefully some of you may be tuning in virtually. So um, congratulations on, on, uh, on this honor. Now I'm going to read um, the names of the folks who are here in the room and I'll ask you to come up and join us. You're going to get a certificate and uh, then we'll take a picture. And then at the end of everything, we'll take a picture of all of the ambassadors. So we have a, 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 a group shot of the folks here. Um, and um, uh, Provost, would you join us um, for, the, for the conferring of the certificates? Uh, the first up is Joe Bailey from Alfred State. And he was um, nominated by R Maureen Kashera. So where is Joe? Hey, Joe. Next is Jacqueline uh, Dipzinski, and uh, she was nominated uh, by Jennifer Boyle from SUNY Brockport. Jennifer? Jacqueline, I mean? Sorry. So we're going we're to Photoshop the right one in. <laughs> Come here in the center, and let's move over here. Thank you. Next on the list is actually Jennifer Smalls from SUNY Brockport, nominated by Kathleen Peterson.
Janice Jones from the University of Buffalo, nominated by Robin Sullivan. And we have Michelle Courier from SUNY Canton, nominated by Christine Smith. have uh, Marella Fiaco from SUNY Canton, nominated also by Christine Smith. Did I say your name right? Yes, oh, yes you did, thank you. <laughs> oh, we're moving, we're, we're drifting, we're drifting. Um, Rosemary Anthony from Corning Community College, nominated by Martha Gold. Payot, Michelle, hi. And um, Michelle's from Dutchess Community College, nominated by Chrissy Mitchell. I'm, did I say your name right? I'm okay. sorry. How do you say your last name? S Payot. S Payot. Yeah, And Brian O'Keefe from Farmingdale, nominated by Maya Bentz. And Sherry Chibangu from Monroe Community College, Andrew Gilbert, nominated. How do you say your last name? Shabangu, okay, thank you. Thank, congratulations. Then we have Lee Graham from SUNY Oneonta, nominated by Chilton Reynolds. Where are we? Where's Lee? He was unable to make it. Okay, Lee, congratulations. Uh, Valerie Bolger from SUNY Oneonta, also nominated by Chilton Reynolds. Hey, Valerie, congratulations. Thank you. Arvind Didi from uh, SUNY Oswego, nominated by our own Teresa Gilliard Cook. Hi, Arvind. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Arvind.
And um, last but not least, no, there's two more. Ryan Lazardi from SUNY Polytechnic was nominated by Richard Shelton. Ryan, are you here? There you are. So much, everyone. Um, I, I just want to have another round of applause for all of our um, ambassadors for this year. Um, yeah, and um, could we have all the ambassadors come back up here just for a quick group shot? And while we're doing that, could the panel set up um, anything that you need to uh, do? I think David Wiley needed to put something up. So, and so um, Jeff, we can cut and go to the next one.